Hey there, so I hope the video before this was helpful in helping you to understand how we're getting that information on what work is due through the week out to your student, where you can find grades, and how to find missing assignments. Now I wanted to talk through if something is not making sense to you, you can't find, um, you can't get to the uh, content that goes with a given a missing assignment or you don't understand the content in an assignment when you're trying to help your student or your students just struggling during the day trying to get their work done and they don't understand a question or a concept we are here to help you how to get a hold of us well there are a couple of different ways the first and easiest way would be through our zooms we'll get to that in just a second but if for some reason you can't make it to a given Zoom time, on your home page, there is an email link and a couple of different ways. First of all, students can email Miss Singleton and I through this student email button. If you click this link, it will hot link you directly to your student's Gmail, um, the student uh, account that is linked to Canvas. It will open their student email. All they need to do is type in J Lambert or C Singleton. As soon as you start typing that in, it should auto fill it for you. And then they can uh, definitely email us directly that way. Also, if you're doing this as a parent and want to send from your own email address, well, here we go. If you click this contact Mr. Lambert or Ms. Singleton button on the bottom of our homepage, it will bring you to a page that will give you our info. So again, teacher contacts, here we are. There is Miss Singleton. So her email is here, cSingleton at acsc.net. Here is her phone, which is the school phone, and her extension that is that comes directly to her room. And then daily office hours. Again, I'll show you those on our homepage. And then for Mr. Lambert, mine's jlambert at acsc.net. That's my email. Um, and then here again is the school phone number and my extension, which is 6206. Again, office hours are posted in each day's daily agenda. Please, if you are emailing us, um, we suggest that you send a new email out. You can respond to a thread, but especially if it's a thread that comes out to a lot of different parents or students, like a, we send out like an email to everyone, if you try to respond to that thread, sometimes those don't get back to us. Because they have so many email addresses, they can get kicked to a spam folder. We may not see it. Also. If there are multiple replies coming back on that thread, sometimes replies just get lost. It's not because we're trying to ignore you or don't want to hear what you have to say. We just may not see your message to us. So again, I would suggest jlambertacsc.net or csingleton at acsc.net. Just type that in um, and start that new email thread. That way we can make sure that we see what you have to say. All right, and then on each day's page, of course, you can go to your daily agenda page. So again, I'll go to Wednesday because it is Wednesday when I'm making this video. And I will show you where to get to office hours. Now again, your student can always check in for the day at the 930 group Zoom. We, Ms. Singleton and I will walk through all of the work for the day. It's the best way for your student to get all that great information and ask questions if they need it. If you miss the Zoom, again, there is the video to watch that meeting. But then if you happen to miss that or you've gone to that and you're working through and you just don't understand a question as a parent or a student or you don't understand a concept and need some clarification, we are available for you. Mr. Lambert, I am available for you from 10 to 10.30 every morning, Monday through Friday, and between 2 to 3 in the afternoon. Just click the appropriate link here. That opens up um, a Zoom window for you. I will be on the other end waiting. If I don't hop on right away, please be patient. If I am talking to a parent on the telephone, if I am having a meeting with the school administrator, or if I'm working with another student on Zoom that has a question that I think maybe they may not want everyone else to know about, I may be working with that student. It may take me just a second to get finished with them and to get to your question. Please be patient. I am watching during those times. That's what I'm here for. So again, 10 to 10.30 for Mr. Lambert in the mornings, and then from 2 to 3 every afternoon. Ms. Singleton is also available from 10.30 to 11. We stagger those so that she can um, she can have a, a time where she just is uh, working with your student. That way they can 
check in with each of us in the morning if they need to. And then, of course, from 2 to 3 in the afternoon as well, she is available. Again, just follow those links. Those are specific, so Mr. Lambert's are up here, to talk to Ms. Singleton about social studies or language arts, click those bottom links. Also, your small group times, if you're wondering about those, those are generally posted right here by our office hours with a link to those small group times. So that's how you can get a hold of us. Please, 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 if you are struggling with anything, as a student or a parent, we are here for you. If, it, if we're available during those office hours, and if you are, we would love to talk to you and walk you through with things. If we need to set up a time outside of our normal times, please let us know. We will do our best to accommodate if it is at all possible. Also, we're always available for email, or you can leave us, uh, either speak to us if we're available, or leave us a voicemail on those school phone lines. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. We believe in you. We know this is difficult. We know that virtual is not the best option for everyone, but it is the safest at the moment. So we are here for you to walk you through with this. We're proud and glad to be your partner. Let us know how we can help. Thanks.